grab a seat if you don't mind. Okay. So the record's called The Boxer. I've got to preface this, but I'm not really into boxing per se as a sport. I think it's kind of gross. I think it's watching people fight for a sport is kind of gross. Um, it's like fox hunting or something. But I do like the idea, though, of as a boxer, you have to rely on nobody else but yourself to get something done. You know, you have to summon the energy and the, and the strength from inside yourself. Even though you're being knocked down, even though it's hard, you have to keep going and I just, I like that image, I thought it was inspirational. It was quite like an important period in that I was stopping something that I was, I've been doing for years, you know, Block Party, to do something else. It feels like it's a record of rebirth. I'm the devil, I lost night, and an aftershow, bandana red, knew we were a cab. No more coke, Alice. No more cocaine. You're getting sloppy, and someone has, someone has. When I started to this say project, it wasn't really a case of I wanted to do a solo record. It was more important to me just the idea. Uh, I just wanted to carry on working. We decided we were going to take a year off, and I was like, I don't really want to take a year off. I want to carry on doing this because I enjoy it. How I met Alex, the producer, I was um, actually, I was cycling. Um, I was cycling back from a friend's house. He basically kind of cut me up and I flipped over the bonnet of his car. Pretty dicey actually. I was okay, but he was so freaked out because I don't think he had proper insurance. But uh, we started chatting and stuff as we were, we were waiting by the roadside. Then I found out he was a producer and he told me that he also did stuff for Spank Rock, which I really liked. And I was sort of like, wow, uh, so wow, you're, you're, you're the Spank Rock producer. Yeah, and it was no serious injury, it was just a scrape on my leg. So I kind of saw that as a sign that um, even though I was a bit hurt, I'd got something great, you know, I'd met someone great and interesting. <laughs> no, it didn't happen, but you'd be but like, cut that out, because that was a good story. <laughs> <laughs> Before that they speak, <laughs> I feel their eyes now, catching my soul, accusing me. We're on a park bench, bleaching the day. At least thoughts they multiply, at one by one. I'm never really worried about pleasing my audience because. You know, it's not, you know, I don't know, it's not really about that, you know, I make music because I, you know, it's not about validation making music for me, it's about expression and it's nice that people like it, don't get me wrong, and it, obviously it's nice that they pay, <laughs> pays my wages, but when you start kind of pandering to what you think people want, then that's when you start making bad art and... In reverse, in reverse. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, that was uh, a little something that I call unholy thoughts. <laughs> cool. Cool, but no problem.